in the day they would let any they I let mean, you let your girl I mean, I, the first yeah. maybe the first or second year I let my girl come up in there she wasn't no believer right but they should have stopped they look man you you can't bring your woman up in there man yep. they had their yeah. women up in there backless man backless dresses yeah backless dresses and shit they had the Wu-Tang people had their hun- uncles the yep. uncles the yep. uncles up in there man they had the Wu-Tang up in there yeah Wu-Tang they had rappers oh, yeah. and shit up in there rappers. man rappers yeah. Actors and shit, you know? Boxes. Yeah. Niggas. Niggas. <laughs> that covers the whole gamut. <laughs> the gamut, yeah. You still want the rest of the definitions kept? Yeah. Okay, the next word is word, which is pretty simple. Logos. Um, uh, logos, it says uh, speech. Kept the word. The Greek word for word is logos, which is speech. A word uttered by a living voice embodies a conception or idea. That living voice is the most high, man. Through his and son. He speaks through, and he speaks through the scriptures. Yeah. Well, you said he speaks through his son, yeah. but his son speaks to us through the scriptures. S- through the scriptures, yeah. Which is the comforter. Yeah. Notice the key word there is living. So if you're going to deal with the word, you have to be alive, man. You can't be dead, man. Like HODC, them guys are dead. All right. Well, Nate is dead. Nate is dead. And uh, uh, Johanna is dead. But <laughs> Johanna yeah. is a skeleton that can dance. That's yeah, all he yeah. is. He's a dancing skeleton, you know? He's a jive bone daddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> jive hey, bone Nate is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a jive ass skeleton dancer, yeah, yeah, man. Yep, yep. Was yep. it skeleton supposed to be in the grave? Yeah. They uh, still. Yeah. The skeletons, every once in a while, they'll get up out the grave and they'll dance. Yeah, that's they're, what them guys yeah, are. They're dancing it. skeletons, man. <laughs> yeah, they're dancing that song Thriller, that Thriller music. Come on. Well, that's <laughs> them. That's them, man. They start dancing. Yeah, Michael Jackson is, uh, is, uh, is Nate waking up the dead, man. <laughs> and then you have Vincent Price, Darkness Falls Across. You see Nate, you know. Uh, a, a word uttered by a living voice embodies a conception or idea. The living voice is the Most High Yahweh through His Son Yahweh Shai, which speaks to us through the Scriptures, the Bible. All right, you you, you got you got something you want to say? You said something about a conception. Yeah, it said conception. yeah, con. So basically, um, this is John six sixty three. Because the reason why the scriptures is called the living water is because uh, it evolves. You know, the scriptures are timeless. In other words, the scriptures could apply at any time. So you have some scriptures written way back during the time of John the Revelator. Right. The the, Mark of the Beast. That was written 2,000, almost 2,000 years ago. Yep. And and John didn't know what that meant. He didn't know that was talking about the chip. Uh, um, um, When during the time of... uh, um, uh, when you go to Revelation the 20th ch- chapter What is it The fourth verse mm-hmm. And it said They did not uh, Right for the, for, the, for the witnesses Of Yahweh Shai and, and didn't take the chip And worship Worship the, the beast image, yep. the, the image rather Well John didn't understand What that was talking about When he saw Babylon the Great He actually saw a woman Sitting upon a scarlet co- Colored beast And she must have been Fine as hell yeah, he was on, yeah. Because it said He looked at her With great admiration he was it, she she was looking good, man. Yeah. She was a good looking Edomite woman. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she was. Yeah, yeah. An Edomite right. woman, man. Yeah, or a woman, but that Esau this is Esau's land, so she had to be an Edomite woman. You know, yeah. or Edomite woman with a tan or something like that. But she to, to her breast was out. Yeah. You can see her legs, she had nice thick legs and mm-hmm. all that, man. Yeah, yeah. And she was galloping on that beast yeah. and them and them. Breasts was pop, b- bouncing. The boing, you heard the boing, boing, you know. And he said, "I looked at right, yep." And he and he said, "I looked at her with great admiration." The word at that's what the scripture said. Con, con. Revelation seventeen. You can go to it if you don't believe me. That's right. And look up the word admiration. Matter of fact, go to that in case a guy because they'll get stupid. They'll get stupid, man. So I'll just read this real quick. This is cunt. My point is this, that the things that John wrote, he didn't know what the hell those things were that he saw and he wrote down. But we know it. You got it, Doc? Yeah. All right, the word, uh, the Greek word for admiration is thalma. Thalma. Strong's G, 2295. 
Thalma. Thalma. Uh, and it says, uh, a wonderful thing, a marvel, wonder, to wonder with great wonder, exceedingly. Uh, admiration, a wonderful thing. If you're looking at a wonderful thing, you, you're almost going to fall in love with it. It's wonderful. Right. Well, I thought the word was going to be uh, love, but it says wonderful. You're, you're looking at it with awe and wonder. Yeah. See if there's a root, a root to that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a root word. All right. The root word is, uh, here it is. Strong's G, 2300, Thaomai. Is it, doesn't that go to the French word uh, uh, jetem, jetem, um, like in, in Haitian when you say I love you? What do you say? Je, 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 jetem, right? Jetem, yeah, jetem. I love yeah. you. So tem, tem, the tem or the them, is goes back to the root word for love. Okay. Uh, uh, go read, 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 read what it says. It says to behold, look upon, uh, view attentively. Uh, oh. Um, of important persons that are looked on with admiration to view, take a view of in the sense of visiting, meeting with a person. Just like when you look at a, a beautiful woman, you want to meet that woman, right? Because you, you're wandering at her, right? There, there was that song in the 60s, She's Some Kind of Wonderful. I forgot the group right, that right, did it. Some kind of, yeah, yeah. yeah some it, kind of he was talking man. about a woman. Yeah, She's yeah. some kind. The Eighth Day. That was the name oh, of the okay, group. Okay, okay, all right. She's some kind of wonderful. Yeah, yeah that means you're yeah. gonna love. Hey, yeah. well, it's just like when you we all got women, right? And you know, you see her with, with her clothes on and shit, and you kind of get an idea of what she might be built like. But then when you, you know, do do what you got to do, do the thing that you do. Yeah. And she gets undressed, and you be like, God damn. She yep. Yep. It with them clothes, you know. She, yeah, damn, yeah. I ain't know that built was like that, man. Con, con. You know. Yeah. Or she might put the. Uh, you know the, the the what you call it the negligee and the whole nine y yards Kern. and you you were, you were like an awe man you like God, God. you like like in your mind you got damn man yeah the the breast and so that's how that's how John uh, saw exactly like God damn that's a fine like that's a fine ass bitch right there God that's right damn, that's man. right that's right you know oh like Floyd May Mayweather when he first saw Miss Jackson he said damn look at that I gotta get with that Kern. <laughs> I got to get that. You know, but yeah. that's how John looked looked at that woman. But he didn't know that that was America. That was Babylon. Right. That was a place that was going to uh, enslave us. You know. Yeah, Elder, yeah. because he was looking so hard that in the next verse, the seventh verse, the angel said unto me, "Wherefore didst thou marvel?" So he had to be looking so hard. So the angel said, "Why did you marvel at this woman?" Then, then it proceeds to say. Well, even, even uh, what's this guy from uh, True Romance? Uh, uh, no, no, uh, Hopper. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, Drexel. Right, he right, said, right. He said, he said to right, he said to uh, Christian Slater, which was Hurley, uh, Lawrence Hurley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he said, uh, he said, now you, you just been clocking me. Yeah, yeah. Now I know I'm pretty, <laughs> but I ain't as pretty as a pair of titties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right? So that's what John was looking at, man. Yeah, yeah, God. He saw them restlessness all up yeah. and erect, standing at attention, and Con. they were bouncing. Con. Okay? Con. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just, you know. Yeah. But that's what he saw. But he, didn't, what he, saw. he, didn't, he didn't know that that represented Babylon the Great. Con. Yeah, that, um, that's pre pretty much it on that, right? That's, pretty much. Uh, that's the point, right? Yeah, With great to, uh, Okay. Revelation uh, 3 and 10. Okay.